2020 will mark the year of the new console war, as Sony and Microsoft are set to go head to head with another round of next generation gaming releases. Before you start saving money and looking at pre-order options, learn everything there is to know about the consoles, including specs, performance, and some of the launch games. By the end, you'll be able to tell if you're leaning towards Sony's PS5 or the newest version of the Xbox. The Names Ever since the early 90s, Sony has kept things pretty simple with their console names. It's definitely not complicated to follow their timeline, and they are sticking with tradition with the aptly named PlayStation 5, or simply shortened to the PS5. Now, the Xbox is a whole different story. After the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One, we've had numerous code names over the years the company now referring to their newest project as Scarlet. Rumors have persisted that the console will be called the Xbox 2, but there's been nothing confirmed yet. Maybe ditching the numbers would be a good thing, because there's no pattern or rhyme or reason to the release scheme. We've heard all different nicknames for the Xbox over the years, including Infinite, the Bill Gates Machine, Computer Console, Xbox 720, the Extreme Box, the Anaconda, and also Lockhart. For the sake of the video, we'll stick with Scarlet. Either way, the only thing that matters is knowing the exact name to tell your parents when the release rolls around so you're ready to play on day one with the right console. Release date. For the next generation of consoles, there's not going to be a head start for either Sony or Microsoft. Both companies have slated their release schedules for the 2020 holiday season. Santa Slay is sure going to be filled with a whole lot of hardware come Christmas 2020. The holiday season is a traditional time for a new console release. But don't be surprised if the final announced date is more towards late October or early November. Basically, Sony and Microsoft want these consoles to be fully stocked and ready to go by the time Black Friday rolls around. Following the trends of previous releases, do not expect the new consoles to have any sale prices at launch. When holiday sales do launch, some retailers may offer gift card bonuses with the console, but the main sales will probably be on launch titles or accessories like extra controllers. SSD and Cloud Gaming one of the biggest innovations for both the PS5 and the Xbox Scarlet is the implementation of the Solid State Drive, or SSD for short. There's no more spinning hard drives in the console, which will not only quiet down the devices, but dramatically increase the speeds in which games load. Using an SSD harkens back to the non-loading times found on cartridge games, but at a much larger scale. Games will load incredibly fast, transitions between areas will feel seamless, and game developers can dramatically expand the sandbox we have to play in. With hard drive space constantly being a struggle for larger game libraries, Sony has already announced a unique capability for the PS5. These solid-state drives will have the ability to only install specific parts of a game. For example, if you want the newest Call of Duty game, you have the option of installing just the single-player mode, or just the multiplayer mode. You'll save an incredible amount of game space by opting out for the whole download. Plus, you'll be able to have the download complete much faster with less data. Along with the SSD, both the PS5 and Scarlet will have cloud gaming features, game streams, and the ability for remote play on a variety of devices. Graphics Every time a new generation of consoles gets released, we are wowed by the impressive graphics and details showcased in the design. And it will be no different with the PS5 and Scarlet. Games will all run in 4K with impressive visuals right from the start. There will be no need to wait it out for the PS5 Pro or the Xbox Scarlet Super Scarlet. Along with the 4K capability, Sony has announced plans for 8K resolution options in the future. Besides the improved pixels, one of the graphic elements which makes gameplay truly shine is the implementation of ray tracing. Already featured in a number of high-end gaming PCs, ray tracing is an incredible graphical feature, which much more closely emulates real-time lighting techniques. While the Microsoft Scarlet is rumored to have full-fledged ray tracing, the PS5 will feature a form known as ray tracing acceleration. Basically, franchises like Grand Theft Auto or Cyberpunk 2077 will feel more real than ever with impressive lighting, shadows, and the ability to realistically showcase lighting details on all types of materials, including water, stone, and even leather jackets. The lighting will be a huge asset to games. Just imagine Assassin's Creed Origins with even better graphics. It's a little hard to fathom, but will usher in a whole world of realistic gaming. Controllers One of the biggest trademarks with Sony and Microsoft are the controllers they've released for their consoles. For the Scarlet, expect more of the same, with the ability to use previous Xbox controllers along with the newer Pro models. 
Sony's DualShock line has gone through a completely new upgrade, and while the name is not official yet, we can pretty much call the thing the DualShock 5. And wow, what a game changer this controller is going to be. The speaker in the controller will feature improved sound and clarity, making it ideal for games to blast sound effects, voices, and other elements at you. The survival horror genre could really take advantage of the speaker. The true highlight of the PS5 controller will be the feedback analog sticks and the adaptive trigger. The feedback sticks actually allows you to feel the terrain or obstacles you're going through. The general rumble will be no more. If you're walking through snow, you will feel it through the stick. If you're driving on a gravel road, the feedback will feel a lot different than a flat road. Your immersion in the game is bigger than before, including the adaptive triggers. For example, carefully launching an arrow will have a more sensitive trigger than pumping the gas in a monster truck. The PS5 controller will also be charged with a USB-C cord and can be used while charging through the console, so there is no downtime while you wait. Enjoying these console details? Well, once the video ends, be sure to check out 10 rejected video game console ripoffs for a collection of consoles you should never buy. Backwards Compatibility As you prepare for the launch of a new console, you cannot help but glance at your current library of both physical and digital games. Will you have to keep your PS4 or Xbox One hooked up to the media center? Well, we have the answer for you. First, the good news. Microsoft Xbox owners will get to use all of their physical media in the Xbox Scarlet. And we're not just talking about Xbox One discs. We're going old school. The Scarlet will be backwards compatible with every version of the Xbox, including the original console and the 360. Time to dust off those old games and have a fun night of retro gaming. Sony gamers aren't completely left out either. The PS5 will be compatible with PS4 games, but anything before that will likely have to be purchased through the PlayStation Store. No word yet on how current store purchases will migrate over or if you'll have to build up the digital library again, but both Microsoft and Sony will likely have a massive collection of current and retro titles available for sale. Launch Games no matter how good the 4K graphics look or the controller operates, a system is only as good as the games it comes with. And so far, the PS5 has announced absolutely nothing when it comes to launch games. There will likely be a bunch of upgraded titles like The Last of Us Part II and Marvel's The Avengers. But none of the PS5 exclusives have been featured yet and may not until early summer of 2020. Microsoft, on the other hand, is already getting fans excited with the teaser of one specific game, Halo Infinite. The game's already been announced as a launch title and could be the biggest Halo game of all time. Microsoft has stayed true to the franchise that helped build their console, and many gamers could be returning to the sci-fi world. Halo Infinite is supposed to have a massive world to play around, some sandbox elements, and a major focus on the multiplayer elements. Considering the success of games like Fortnite, Halo Infinite could feature a massive 100-player battle mode, or even use the advanced technology to increase beyond the 100 players. Either way, the launch title gives Microsoft the edge so far, but Sony's announcements won't be too far off. Other forms of media When we're not gaming, both the PS5 and the Scarlet will have a lot of other media options. Despite teetering on the edge of being obsolete in the gaming world, both consoles will feature a 4K Blu-ray player with movie-playing capabilities. Standard Blu-ray discs will work in the device along with the 4K Ultra Blu-ray releases. Along with the discs, both consoles will have access to digital media libraries and streaming movies. The PlayStation Now TV streaming service will transition over and Microsoft will offer plenty of streaming options as well, including Hulu, Netflix, and Movies Anywhere. With gaming streaming at an all-time high, you will be able to watch live game streams of your Sony friends along with having access to other streaming services. Microsoft will most likely integrate their Twitch competitor Mixer directly into the console, allowing gamers to either stream their games or watch popular gamers like Ninja. The integration helps give Microsoft an edge and players easy access. Picture-in-picture -picture modes may even allow players to enjoy their games while watching other streamers at the same time. The co-stream feature is already a part of the Xbox One and will have even more benefits on Scarlet. Console Options Plain and simple, the Sony PS5 will be the PS5. There may be some hard drive differences, but the core of the console will remain the same. Microsoft, on the other hand, may have two launches planned for Scarlet. Rumors have persisted that Microsoft is planning a dual release with the code names of Anaconda and Lockhart. The system we've been referring to in the whole video is the Anaconda, the main console and most likely the most popular option for Microsoft's next generation. 
The Lockhart console has been referred to as more of a bare-bones console with a focus on cloud gaming. The rumored release would still feature a solid-state drive, but it would eliminate the optical drive, meaning you would have to purchase all of your games digitally something GameStop probably isn't too happy about. The lower-end console may help boost sales for consumers early on, but time will tell if the console could hold up to the full Anaconda and PS5 release. Or if it'll just end up being a quick cash grab with not enough features. VR Options Despite a majority of us enjoying games on a television just fine, the world of VR continues to grow and expand. For the Sony PS5, Sony VR will be fully compatible at launch, meaning you can strap on that headset and get inside the virtual games at launch. No details have been announced about a new VR headset for the PS5, but there will likely be plenty of new game titles for the current VR. Microsoft has not announced plans for any VR as of yet, but rumors have persisted that they are planning to launch an advanced 4K VR headset to help get ahead of Sony in the add-on department. With no visuals from the actual console itself, we'll probably be waiting a while before we see any type of VR content, but it could prove to be the next big addition for the 2021 holiday season, just as our new consoles reach their first birthday. With the launch of Scarlet, the whole Kinect brand will probably get phased out even if voice and motion controls are a part of the console. Wow, that's a whole lot of information to take in. Which console are you leaning toward? Who's gonna buy both? Are you ready to make a switch from Microsoft to Sony or vice versa? Well, let us know in the comments and stick around the gamer for more great video game content. We're releasing new videos every couple of days. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the channel.